वेलकम टू शेखर मैथ्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सेवेंथ क्लास मैथमेटिक्स सेमिस्टर वन थर्ड चैप्टर सिंपल इक्वेशंस एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट फोर प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम सिक्स टू टेन नाउ लेट अस टेक एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट फोर सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन टोटल फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ लेट अस टेक सिक्स प्रॉब्लम रहीम हैज एक्स रुपीज फ्रॉम विच ही स्पेंड्स सिक्स रुपीज If twice of the money left with him is eighty six rupees, then find x solution. Money Rahim has is equal to x rupees. Now, money he spends is equal to observe the word spends. It indicates minus. So minus six rupees negative number. Next, money left with him is equal to rupees x minus six. Now, twice the money left is equal to observe the word twice. It indicates multiplied by two. So two into money left is x minus six. So two into x minus six. But in the problem, twice the money left is given as eighty six rupees. Now observe that two into x minus six is equal to eighty six rupees. Now x minus six is equal to eighty six by two because multiplying two when transposed to the right hand side it becomes divided by two. Now on simplification by two two forty three times that is equal to forty three. Now x is equal to forty three plus six because minus six when transposed to the right hand side it becomes plus six. Now x is equal to forty nine because forty three plus six is equal to forty nine. So money Rahim has x is equal to rupees forty nine is the answer. Now let us do seventh problem. The difference between two numbers is seven. Six times the smaller plus the larger is seventy seven. Find the numbers. Solution. Let The larger number is equal to x. Say, let smaller number is equal to y. Say, now observe the word difference. It means minus. So x minus y is seventy seven indicates equal to seven. Now larger number x is equal to seven plus y because minus y when transposed to the right hand side it becomes a plus y. Now six times it indicates six into the smaller. Here the smaller is y, so take y. So six y. Now observe the word plus. It indicates the symbol plus. Now the larger. Here we took as x, so take x. E seventy seven indicates equal to seventy seven. Now. We get x is equal to seven plus y. So now write seven plus y in place of x in the below equation. Then we get six y plus seven plus y is equal to seventy seven. Now seven y plus seven is equal to seventy seven because six y plus y is equal to seven y. Now seven y is equal to seventy seven minus seven because Plus seven when transposed to the right hand side it becomes a minus seven. Now seven y is equal to seventy because seventy seven minus seven is equal to seventy. Now y is equal to seventy by seven because multiplying seven when transposed to the right hand side it becomes divided by seven. Now on simplification by seven seven ten times so that is equal to Ten. So the smaller number y is equal to ten. We got the answer. Now put y is equal to ten in x is equal to seven plus y. Then we get x is equal to seven plus ten. So x is equal to seventeen because seven plus ten is equal to seventeen. So the larger number x is equal to Seventeen, so and a smaller number y is equal to ten. Now let us do eighth problem. 
द सम ऑफ थ्री कॉन्जेक्यूटिव ई वे नंबर इज फिफ्टी फोर फाइंड द नंबर सोल्यूशन ऑब्जर्व द वर्ड ई वे नंबर वी नो दैट टू फोर सिक्स एट एंड सोन आर द ई वे नंबर विच आर डिविजिबल बाई टू इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू इंटू वन फोर टू इंटू टू सिक्स टू इंटू थ्री एट टू इंटू फोर now to write general form observe the common numbers that is equal to 2 into is common for all so write equal to 2 into and uh, the numbers 1 2 3 4 are changing varying so write uh, x a variable x in place of 1 2 3 4 that is equal to 2 into x so general formula for even number is 2x now Let us take even number is equal to two x say, and observe the word three consecutive even numbers. That means three even numbers which are immediately next to it. That is two x, two x plus two, two x plus four. Because if two, four, six, eight are the even numbers, then four we got by adding two to two. Plus two, four plus two is a six. Six plus two is eight. So the difference is only plus two. So we have to add a plus two for the next even numbers. So the sum, the word sum indicates plus symbol. So we have to add three consecutive even numbers. Is fifty four indicates equal to fifty four? Then six x plus six is equal to fifty four. Because two x plus two x gives four x, four x plus two x gives six x. Now two plus four gives six. Now six x is equal to fifty four minus six. Because plus six when transposed to the right hand side, it becomes minus six. Now six x is equal to forty eight. Because fifty four minus six gives forty eight. Now x is equal to forty-eight by six because multiplying six when transposed to the right-hand side it becomes divided by six. Now on simplification by six, six eight times that is equal to eight. So we got x is equal to eight. Now put x is equal to eight in three consecutive even numbers. Then we get two into eight, two into eight plus two, two into eight plus four. But bracket indicates multiplication, so two into eight is sixteen. In every numbers, two into eight is sixteen. Two into eight is sixteen. That is equal to first even number is sixteen. Second even number is eighteen. Third even number is twenty because sixteen plus two is eighteen. And sixteen plus four is twenty. Now, three consecutive even numbers are sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Now let us check whether it is correct or not. Now find the sum sixteen plus eighteen plus twenty, which gives fifty-four, which is already in the problem that it total is fifty-four. So it is correct. Now let us do ninth problem. In a class of forty-eight students. The number of girls is one third the number of boys. Find the number of girls and boys in the class. Solution: Let number of girls is equal to a variable g, and number of boys is equal to a variable b. Say now total are forty-eight students. So g plus b is equal to forty-eight. Now number of girls take g. Is symbol indicates equal to one third indicates one by three. Number of boys indicates the variable b. So g is equal to one by three into b. Now let us put one by three into b in place of g in the above equation. Then we get one by three into b plus b is equal to forty eight. Observe that there is no denominator. We can put to one. Observe that three and one are different denominators. So to convert them into like fractions, multiply both numerator and denominator of the second fraction by three. Then we get 
वन बी बै थ्री प्लस थ्री बी बै थ्री इज ईक्वल टू फार्टी एट ना वी कैन एड ईजली फोर बी बै थ्री इज ईक्वल टू फार्टी एट बिकॉज वन बी प्लस थ्री बी गिवस फोर बी ना फोर बी इज ईक्वल टू फार्टी एट इंटू थ्री बिकॉज डिवैडिंग थ्री वे ट्रांसपोज टू द रईट हैंड सैड इट बिकम्स मल्टीप्लाइड बै थ्री ना बी इज ईक्वल टू फार्टी एट इंटू थ्री बै फोर आन सिंप्लीफिकेशन बै फोर फोर ट्वेलव टाइम्स सो नंबर आफ बॉय बी इज ईक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स बिकाज ट्वेलव इंटू थ्री गिवस थर्टी सिक्स ना पुट थर्टी सिक्स इन प्लेस आफ बी इन द इक्वेशन जी इज ईक्वल टू वन बै थ्री इंटू बी देन वी गैट जी इज ईक्वल टू वन बै थ्री इंटू थर्टी सिक्स ना आन सिंप्लीफिकेशन बै थ्री थ्री ट्वेलव टाइम्स सो नंबर आफ् गर्ल जी इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेलव बिकाज वन इंटू ट्वेलव गिवस ट्वेलव सो नंबर आफ् गर्ल जी इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेलव नंबर आफ् बॉय बी इज ईक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स ना लेट अस चेक वेदर इट इज करेक्ट आर नाट फॉर् दिस एड जी प्लस बी इज ईक्वल टू गर्ल इज ट्वेलव बॉय इज थर्टी सिक्स टोटल इज फार्टी एट विच इज आलो इन द प्राब्लम फार्टी एट स्टूडेंट्स नव टेन्त प्राब्लम द प्रजेंट एजस् आफ् मेरी अंड जोशफ आर् इन द रेशियो फाइव इज टू थ्री आफ्टर थ्री इयर्स सम आफ् देर एजस् विल बी थर्टी एट फैंड देर प्रजेंट एजस् सोल्यूशन एजस् आफ् मेरी अंड जोशफ इज ईक्वल टू फाइव इज टू थ्री ना एज आफ् मेरी इज ईक्वल टू फाइव एक्स and age of joseph is equal to 3x say after 3 years age of mary and age of joseph is equal to observe the word after 3 years it indicates plus 3 so add 3 to both mary and joseph now sum of their ages is 38 it is given in the problem now that is 5x plus 3 plus 3x plus 3 is equal to 38. Now sum indicates plus symbol. Now 8x plus 6 is equal to 38 because 5x plus 3x gives 8x and 3 plus 3 gives plus 6. Now 8x is equal to 38 minus 6 because plus 6. When transpose to the right hand side, it becomes minus six. Now eight x is equal to thirty two because thirty eight minus six gives thirty two. Now x is equal to thirty two by eight because multiplying eight when transpose to the right hand side, it becomes divided by eight. Now on simplification by eight, eight four times. So that is equal to x is equal to Four. Now put x is equal to four in the ages of Mary and Joseph. Now age of Mary is equal to put four in place of x. That is five into four, which is equal to twenty. Put four in place of three x. That is present age of Joseph is three into four is twelve. So present ages are. Mary is a twenty. Joseph is twelve. Now let us check whether it is correct or not. Let us take the ratio of present age of Mary and Joseph, which is equal to twenty is to twelve. On simplification by four, four five ja, four three ja, which is equal to five is to three. The same ratio is also in the problem. So the answer is correct. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe. Say karma